uh, going from south to north. So wire of length 2.5 meters contains a current of 1.2 amps going from south to north, and its mass is 562 grams. Um, so what, I'm, uh, what the, the picture looks like is the, the wire is something like this. If I look at it from the top view, right? Top view. And the current is going up this way south to north, right? So this is like north, this is south. And so what's gonna, what I can ask for this problem is I can say, what should the magnitude and direction of the magnetic field be? So now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring a, a magnetic field up to this wire, because the wire would otherwise bend a little bit due to its weight, right? So the, the wire uh, in, in this room, the north is that direction. So imagine, imagine this thing is the wire, or it could just be this one too. Imagine if this, as, as if this is the wire, okay? And so it's kind of going to bend down a little bit, right? And then you have a battery hooked up to it, and the current is going this way, south to north. Now I can bring a magnet up to it, and the magnet can exert a certain force so that it straightens it out. It doesn't allow it to sag, OK? So I want to know what should the magnitude and direction of the magnetic field be so that the wire doesn't sag. I want it to be straight, OK? What should the magnitude and direction of the external B field be so that wire does not sag under its own weight? So what, how do we want the B field to be? We want the B field to be in such a way so that um, we want the B field to be in such a way so that the force is out of the board, right? Because we're now looking at it from a top view. Which way is gravity? Which way is the force of gravity? I'm basically looking in this picture, I'm looking at it like top view like this. OK, so it's like this. I'm looking top view. So the force of gravity is down, right, into the board. So the force of gravity is into the board. So I want the force of the magnetic field to be out of the board. Force of the magnetic field. So which direction should the magnetic field be so that uh, the force of the magnetic field is going to be out of the board? OK, well, if the magnetic field is to the right, OK, what's going to happen? If the magnetic field is this way, I crossed into B, it's going to be into. OK, so I want the magnetic field to be this way, right? I want the magnetic field to be this way so that I, no, I, I crossed into B is out of the board, right? So in, in this picture is to the west. Okay, next, 
is the magnitude. So I want uh, F equals the magnitude of the, uh, the force of the magnetic field is going to be ILB. In this case, the, the, the angle is going to be 90. So sine of 90 is just 1. And that's going to equal to its weight, which is mg. And then after that, it's pretty straightforward. The mass is going to be uh, 0.562 times 9.8 divided by IL. And the length is 2.5. So that's the answer right there. Is that really strong? Not really, huh? That's about, uh, about uh, 5 divided by, it's going to be roughly about 1, huh? Okay, I believe that's stronger than the typical ordinary ma uh, magnet, but it's not really that, that strong. So it's a doable thing. So we could actually set up a demonstration and uh, do that too, but it'll take time. We can hang the wire, we can bring the magnetic field from this way, and it should straighten it out. Okay, um, and I think that's about it for that problem. Now I could also give it to you a little bit differently. I could give you the magnetic field for example, let's say I switch it around a little bit. Let's say I don't give you the direction of the eye. So it could either be flowing down or up. Or, and now I could give you the direction of the magnetic field. So let's say I give you the magnetic field is this way. And I, I specified the magnetic field is half a Tesla. And I tell you that the angle from the horizontal is... Uh, 40 degrees. So I could say a wire has a, is, has a current either flowing to the north or south. And then there's a magnetic field in that region 40 degrees north of east. Right? That would be 40 degrees north of east. So now I can say find the current that you're going to need and its direction so that the wire does not sag. See, I'm turning it around now. So which direction should the current be? OK, so now you're going to have to say, OK, you can, to try the, uh, you can try the direction. If the current is to the, uh, is to the north, then it's going to be I crossed into B down. You don't want it to be down. You want the force of the magnetic field to be up. So the current needs to flow south, OK, I crossed into B up. OK, so you want the force of the magnetic field to be uh, up out of the board. So in this case, the answer is the current needs to flow south. And now we still have the same equation except for it's, now, it's no longer sine of 90, sine of what's the sine of the what angle? It's the sine of not the angle 40, but it's the sine of the angle between this and this, between the current and the magnetic field, right? So that would be a 90 plus 40, that's 130. Or you could take the sine of this uh, supplementary angle, which is 50. So the theta is the angle between the B and the I, or its supplementary angle. Doesn't matter. So sine of 130 or sine of four, uh, 50. And then we would just solve for the uh, I this time. OK, so the all I've done is just change it around. And then I've, uh, I've added an angle to it. Now you solve for the current I. 
Okay, now let's put up a different.